Hey guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to partition and format your USB drive. Okay, so first of all we need to go into the disk utility. If you guys can't get to the disk utility, just uh, go to your spotlight search, type in disk utility. Okay, it's right there. Open it up. So once we have it open, all we need to do is go right here to the left hand side. We're going to see this list. Now don't touch your Macintosh HD. You want your USB drive. So this is my USB drive. We're just gonna click on the first option. Okay. And I'm just gonna zoom out. Okay. So here you can see erase. There's partition and raid and restore. Okay. So to format something, it's always erase on Mac. Okay. It's almost the same thing if you click here than here. But uh, in this case, we're just gonna choose this. Right now, it's not something that I like it to be at. MS-DOS FAT is one of the worst formats for me personally just because you cannot paste anything bigger than 5 gigs. Um, there's even problems with 2 gigs so if you have files that are big this is what you guys don't want. Okay, You guys do not want it to be this format. You guys probably want it to be for sure this Okay, if you're on Mac. If you want it for both Mac and PC then you can use XFAT. Um, that does work for Mac and PC, however, I've had problems in the past with that, so it's good to partition it and have maybe one that's XFAT and then the other partition that's only for Mac. And that way you don't lose any data and there's no corruption with files and stuff like that. So that's what I like to do and that's what we're gonna do right now. So even before we go in there, I just want to show you the partition, so that's the second option right here. And in partition, you can choose what to do exactly and how many partitions you want. So currently, there's only one partition. That means everything 64 gigs. We can add two partitions to it. That's what we're going to do today. Um, as you can see in this list, we have a variation of partitions. I wouldn't do that many. <laughs> uh, these 16 partitions is crazy. I would just do maybe four if you want something for Time Machine that I really wouldn't suggest using USB stick for Time Machine anyways. Um, well, apart from that, um, right here, if you move this up and down, you can put more gigs on one partition than the other. But first, we have to actually choose, besides the size and all that stuff, we want to erase everything first. Okay, so we're gonna switch and we're gonna format everything as journaled. Um, somebody asked me before if you could do it XFAT, go ahead. But I would suggest journal first. And then just raise up, put the name that you want, whatever you guys like. So I'm just gonna put 64 gig USB. Raise that. So we're now by erasing, once again, we're formatting. Um, I did have a couple files there, so they're all being erased. And remember, erase means erase. You're deleting every everything in that USB drive. And partition, I mean, I've heard of people partitioning stuff. Everything went okay without formatting, so they don't lose your stuff. But uh, that's hard. I mean, really hard. Okay, anyways, uh, we're going to move this down. We're going to make this around there. That's good. We're going to name our first partition. Um... You can just double click on it to select the first partition. That's 64 gigs. Well, 60, well these 55 gigs. And our second one is 8. Of course, up here you can just type in how many you want. So I don't want 8.888. I want maybe 10 gigs right there. Just to have 10 gig. It's good. And I want that to be XFAT. And once again, I'm going to type in 10 gigs. XFAT titled will be well this I would want to be for Windows so that's what I'm gonna call it PC and up here this one's for Mac this one I want Mac so I'm gonna put it as extended okay and that's in case that you guys want to do that okay um, right now I'm gonna format it as XFAT now if, like I said this is more compatible for Mac, so you should do Mac right here. But in my case, since I'm going to use this for my TV, I'm just going to do XFAT. Some TVs only take MS-DOS FAT just in case, so that's the safest way to go. But XFAT, of course, more comfortable. Okay, 
next I'm gonna put this PC too and we're just gonna leave that there that's fine and then we just click right down here where it says apply and that's it guys you just have to wait partition this and wait till it's done it takes no time if you guys have a bigger hard drive or a USB drive it's gonna take a little bit longer obviously and also depends on your speed of your Mac so right now we can see that there's two partitions one and two now these may show up on your desktop okay if you don't see your partitions on your desktop um, just click on your background okay and then you're gonna see finder right up here go to preferences and right in preferences you can see whatever you want to see on right here okay so right now we can see external disks so if you uncheck that they will disappear if we check that they will appear same thing for hard drives we can just check that and see our hard drive right there which i don't like to see so i have that off so that's just a little tip anyways that's it for this video tutorial if you guys have any questions comments you can write them below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you